desert to try and catch the elusive Apuntia. We just injured it right now. We're going to sneak up on it to make sure it doesn't attack us. Let's go. <laughs> so we've got to get our gloves to handle this one. As you can see, it has many spines on it. Let's take a closer look. She's quite a beauty here. This pretty little Sheila has been avoiding us for the past two months. Now we finally caught up to her. Now I'm going to bring in some cactus specialists from Cactus Pro Shop to even tell you some more information on this beauty. So now our first special guest specialist is Kelly Dunn. Let's see what she has to say. Hey Steve, how's it going? It's going wow, look here right now, right now we've got some bees in action. No, I learned, look Steve, oftentimes you'll find pollinators such as bees hiding in the flowers here. If you look closely, you've got one little guy hiding out right here. He's trying to get the nectar reward right now. Let's see if we can get him now for a closer look. Oh, he's a little devil, he is. There we go. He's starting to come out. Oh, he's in it. <laughs> he's a little drunk on pollen right now. <laughs> Here we have another specialist, Haley Nelson, to tell us a little bit more coming from Cactaceae Pro Shop. Let's introduce him. So, Steve, did you know that the leaves of cacti are modified? I did not know that. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, about let's it? go take a look. There are three parts to the cacti's modified leaf. There's a short shoot, which is this gray circle right here. There are glockets, which are the little spines. And then there's the long shoot, which is this long spine. Here we have another specialist flying straight from Britain to tell us a little bit more about it. Her name is Jen. She's going to give us a little bit more information about this uh, beautiful creature that we have here today. Please inform our viewers on how that whole process happened. They use CAM photosynthesis, which means that their stomata is closed during the day to prevent moisture loss and open at night. Because this is a two-step process, it takes extra energy, which is why they grow so slowly. I think we learned all we could about this animal. It looks like she's waking up, so we got to get out of here pretty quick. Let's go. Yes, sir. <laughs> This is Steve Israel, signing off.